Hey guys, Solar Smoke back again. Uh, got a right treat uh, to show you all today. I picked up a cold smoke generator this week uh, by, by ProQ, a uh, big barbecue company over here in the UK. Um, I actually bought it, however, via Hot Smoked. Uh, I'll put the link down in the description for their website. Um, yeah, cold smoke generator. I was inspired this week after watching uh, Elton's Barbecue Pit. Um, seen him cooking up some fantastic looking smoked salmon from scratch. Um, I also love smoked cheese big time. So, uh, hey, for £30 I thought I'd give it a go. Um, so let's have a look at it and um, we'll get going today. We're going to be smoking some cheese actually. Uh, so we'll go through that today. Uh, I'll show you how I set this up, uh, how it works. Um, I'll show you the cheeses um, before and then uh, I'll talk you through smoking a bit of cheese. Okay, so... As you can see here, uh, cold smoke generator, Pro-Q, easy to use apparently, uh, good for fish, nuts, cheese, butter, Ooh, pretty good, pretty good, so let's move on to it. Okay, so you'll get some, it looks like this, like some sort of maze, labyrinth looking metal contraption. What you actually do guys is you use stuff like uh, oak, maple, beech wood, silver birch. Um, what you can actually do is you take this sawdust you fill the uh, maze sort of cold smoke generator um, it does say however it is very important that you don't go over the uh, actual metal structure obviously once you do ignite it it could just jump over such forth so keep it all level compact take it all the way around get it all filled then the clever part you take uh, a tea light uh, pops straight under here uh, obviously it will ignite uh, the sawdust itself. Uh, you want to be able to get this um, just smouldering. Um, once you've obviously got it glowing red, um, you want to extinguish the tea light. Um, bill over fire a bit, just blowing on it gently to get that going. Um, you don't want flames coming up of course, um, but you just want uh, a glowing red amber, uh, ember sorry, uh, starting here. And the idea is it will slowly burn its way along not creating any heat, of course, or minimal heat. Uh, obviously, we're cold smoking here. We don't want to be cooking with food. Um, from what I've heard of other reviews, Pitmaster X, um, some of the others, uh, it is saying that this should provide around 10 hours of cold smoking. Um, it looks fantastic quality. I mean, it's this is pretty sturdy built. The mesh is pretty strong. This isn't going to burn through very easily. Um, so uh yeah it looks interesting i think if you're from the states you may, you can get pro q products um i think it might be a bit of a bugger to get though um however i do believe that weber do their own version of a, of a cold smoke generator i have seen that used uh elton was using one of those in fact um but again hot smoked um supplied this cost me 30 pounds uh I'll give you a tip guys in the promo section uh enter welcome 10 and you'll get yourself 10% off your order. Um, so, as, as I say, this knocked it down to £30 for me. Uh, and what's even cooler is they included another free sample, 100 grams of uh, maple wood. So again, um, there you go, hotsmoked.co.uk, or info at hotsmoked.co.uk. Uh, the girls who work there are fantastic customer service. Um, I bought this on a whim, of course, after watching Elton's video. Um, they were nice enough to... Uh, rush my order and get it sent out next day delivery <laughs> you can't get better than that but as i say here we go so guys um i'm also going to be showing you today how the weber smoky mountain uh can be used for cold smoking i'm going to show you how i set it up i'm going to show you how i set the uh cold smoke generator up and uh we'll get to smoking some cheeses today fantastic catch you in a bit all right guys we're back um so yeah like i said we're going to be smoking some cheese today uh, I've got myself here some uh, English mature cheddar. I've got some Dutch Gouda or Gouda. Um, you want to be using some of these hard sort of cheeses. Um, I mean, of course, I've seen people smoking, you know, mozzarella, um, some of these other uh, softer cheeses. The problem is you've really got to watch your temperatures at that point then. Um, they obviously will melt a lot easier. Um, you want some, obviously, the stuff with a higher melting point. Um, so, therefore, I've chosen some cheddar. Um, and obviously the, the Dutch Gouda. Um, so, uh, I'm going to be showing you first how to set up this cold smoke generator. Um, 
I'm going to be using the uh, oak today. Um, I do like a strong smoke flavour on a lot of my food, so therefore I'm going to be using oak, a really robust sort of flavours once that gets going. Um, so, like I said in the intro, uh, we're not going to be overfilling it, but we will be filling it uh, uh, tightly and compactly. So let's go ahead with that. So let's just dump it all in, then we'll give it a shake to try and level that off. Okay, bit by bit, give it a good shake, bring it across. Like I say, we've got to we've got to be able to see the top of the maze. Really, we can't have it coming over. Uh, that's when, uh, like I was talking about earlier, it won't stay on course on the burn. It will just obviously start igniting this this side instead of going round as it's designed to. So uh, yeah, really make sure you can see that frame. Let's get that all over. A bit more, I think. That should do it, I reckon. So I definitely want to get it over here at like the start of it. Obviously that's where the tea light goes, just down here. So we really need to make sure we've got some uh, of, these, of this sawdust uh, just over that. Good shake, keep leveling that off. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. Uh, like I say, guys, you can see how I've left that clearly, clearly exposed. Therefore, it will burn the way it's going to, or supposed to. <laughs> Just like the packaging said, nice and simple. So again, guys, uh, the idea will be that we'll light this tea light here. It will just pop under, under here. We'll get that going uh, from the very start, get it glowing nice and hot. Uh, remove the tea light, of course and uh, we'll get to a Weber Smoking Mountain and let's, I'll show you how I set up the WSM for the cold smoking and uh, show you these cheeses going straight on. Cheers, catch you in a bit. Alright guys, so we're back here at the WSM. Um, I'm going to show you now how I've set this up. I've actually got the great, great, uh, grill grate below the top one here. Um, that's where the, once the cold smoke generator is uh, ignited and going. We'll be placing that down below. Um, obviously lid back on when the cheese is on the top grid. Um, what I'm going to be doing is lighting the tea light, uh, popping up beneath here. Okay. So the tea light is ignited. Uh, I'm going to pop this straight under, just as uh, the instructions do say. Um, should take around about a minute, I reckon. Oh, you can see it's igniting already. Um, what you want to see is a definite red ember uh, glowing here you'll, uh, uh, yeah, that's taken quite quickly. Um, for WSM will be great for doing the cold smoking, obviously keeping the generator on the lower grill grate. Um, it's gonna be far, far enough away from the actual cheeses on the top grate, um, so not enough heat will build up, um, very minimal heat. I, I believe it'll be around 10 degrees, see if I can hold it that low. Um, uh, you can, I mean, you can see how quickly that's, that is igniting. Um, as I say, I'll give it a couple of blows. Yeah, as you may be able to see on the camera, I'm not sure, because it's quite sunny out. Um, you can see little red uh, embers glowing, and that's exactly what we want to get this cold smoke generator started. Uh, it takes off, it takes it very, very quickly. If you find your sawdust is slightly damp, uh, one of the tips I have read is uh, just to put the wood, uh, wood dust um, in the microwave just for 30 seconds on high heat. That should be enough to dry it, dry it out and help it get it ignited so quickly. So uh, we'll just wait for that. I'm happy with that. Yeah, I'm just gonna pull that candle out. It's always useful to have a little poker nearby, guys. Okay, so as we can quite clearly see, I'm getting a fair bit of smoke come off this straight away. Um, I'm going to be putting, placing the cosmetic generator now down on the second grate, down here inside, uh, popping the grate back on, and uh, I'll be placing the cheeses here on top and getting the lid on. So we'll come back when I'm putting my cheeses on. Okay, guys, so I've got my cheeses here. Um, I did read that it was a good idea to bring your cheeses up to room temperature, which is exactly what I did. Uh, also, sometimes, as anyone might know, on cheeses, sometimes you'll get like a wet sort of film. 
um, on the surface as it comes to room temperature. I have been advised that you should pack that off because it will um, prevent the smoke from uh, infusing into the cheeses. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to place the cheeses here on the top grill grate. Again, the cosmic generator is just below it on the second level grill grate. Um, you can see the amount of uh, nice smoke that's coming up off that cosmic generator. I can, can't feel any heat whatsoever, which is a good sign. Um, I'm going to leave, leave this now for about four hours, and then we'll pick up. Hopefully we'll see some colour change here on the cheeses, and uh, we'll have a look and see how well the uh, cosmic generator is actually burning along. Catch you in a bit. Okay guys, so it's um, been about four and a half hours now. Uh, I just wanted to point out that whilst you're using the WSM as a cold smoker, I did actually leave all the vents open. You can still see there's some still uh, some smoke coming out still. Uh, and again with the uh, control vents at the bottom of the WSM, I also left them fully wide open. Because uh, although we are keeping a cold smoke, um, nonetheless the, uh, the cinders and the uh, embers will need oxygen to keep going. So uh, let's have a look how the cheese went. Wow. Okay guys, so uh, you can definitely see that the cheeses here are taking on some smoke and colour. Um, it has changed them. Um, the smell is phenomenal. I did put a bulb of garlic on as well actually for some smoked garlic. Um, but let's see how the uh, coal smoke generator is doing. Okay, yeah, so you can still see it's going. And you can just see that it actually does follow that maze and burns around fantastically it's so economical um that's i mean that's four and a half hours that's easily got another six maybe even seven hours of going around i'm probably going to leave the cheese on for about another half an hour um just to finish off um taking on some smoke but as i say you can really see um the kind of off-white kind of yellow of the cheese that's a uh, sign that it has taken on the oak smoke okay so we'll pick back up when we're ready to take the cheese off all right guys so it's been about five and a half hours that I ended up leaving the cheese out for there for. Um, probably about half of the sawdust was ended up being used in the uh, cold smoke generator. Um, but I can't tell you the smell that's coming off this cheese. It, it's, it's something totally different. It smells delicious. Um, very pleased with the results. As you can see here, um, you can really, really see the, uh, the colour change and, and the cheeses. Uh, you can really see that we have definitely, definitely got some good smoke in these. Um, again, with the cheddar as well, you can see the uh, coloration here from the oak smoke. Um, there is one final process, however. Um, just like when we're outside uh, grilling and smoking up, say, a pork butt or a brisket, um, there is a rest period. Uh, with cheese, um, the final stage will be to be wrapping this in some cling film and into the refrigerator for up to... 72 hours that is to really develop the smoke anything with this cold smoking with cheeses and fish uh the longer it's left wrapped uh, in the refrigerator it's just going to develop those smoke flavors um but you know i couldn't wait i've got to uh, cut myself a very thin sliver of the cheddar i mean you can see how it's definitely definitely smoked it i mean i've got to try this hmm Guys, as soon as it hits your tongue, you can definitely, definitely taste that. Um, wow. It's phenomenal. Uh, these were, it was a great experience. It was a fun experience today. I've never cold smoked before. Did a quite a bit of research. Um, but the, the Pro-Q cold smoke generators are fantastic being a kit. And for the price as well, and the possibilities are endless. Uh, again, the weather, Smoky Mountain, did a phenomenal job. It really just shows you, that, that, like I said before, the possibilities are endless with these WSMs. A grill, smoker, now cold smoker. Great bit of kit, really. Um, these will be great for Christmas time, um, as a gift, you know. Can you imagine a block of this smoked cheese wrapped up in some uh, brown butcher paper, uh, tied up with a bit of twine? That's going to look great in any hamper as a gift, you know. Um, can't recommend it enough. Um, so again, guys, thanks for thanks for watching today. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, hit the like button. Uh, if you can subscribe as well, tell your friends, tell your family. Um, Solar Smoke Barbecue, and we'll catch you next time.